Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to dual boot your computer with Windows 7 and Linux. Now for those of you that don't know what Linux is, it's a free operating system that you can download and install onto your computer. Now there's two different ways you can do this. You can start with Windows 7 and install Linux on a separate partition on your hard drive, or you can start with Linux and install Windows 7 onto another partition. For today's video, I'm starting with Windows 7 and I'm going to install Linux onto a separate partition on my hard drive. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is download the Linux software. So open your web browser. Now go to Google. Type in Linux, L-I-N-U-X, download, D-O-W-N-L-O-A-D, I'm going to click on the first one, which says Download Linux Mint. Scroll down. Now select the version of Linux that you want to install. You can choose Cinnamon, Mate, XFCE, or KDE. I'm going to go with Cinnamon, which is the first one. Now make sure you select the right one for your computer. If you have a 32-bit computer, select 32-bit. And if you have a 64-bit computer, select 64-bit. Now scroll down again, select your country. I'm in Canada, so I'm going to go with the first one that says Canada. Wait for it to download. Once the download finishes, you're going to go back to Google. Now type in Linux, L-I-N-U-X. Type in the version of Linux that you downloaded. I downloaded Mint Cinnamon, so I'm going to type in Mint, M-I-N-T, and Cinnamon, C-I-N-N-A-M-O-N. -N. Now type Requirements, R-E-Q-U-I-R-E-M-E-N-T-S. Alright, so it says here, 9 gigs of disk space, 20 gigs recommended. Make sure that you remember the recommended amount of disk space, so that's 20 gigs. Now you can close your web browser. Go to Windows Explorer, now click on Downloads, put a blank DVD or Blu-ray into your computer. Once you put a blank DVD or Blu-ray into your computer, you should get an autoplay pop-up. Mine says BDRE Drive D, and it says Blank DVD Options, Burn Files to Disk, or Burn a DVD Video Disk. You're going to close out of this window. Now right click on the download and select burn disk image. To start burning the disk image, click burn. So you're going to click on burn. Burning disk image to recordable disk. The disk image has been successfully burned to disk. Now you can click close and close downloads. Now you're going to create a new partition on your hard drive. To do that, you're going to go to your start menu. Now type in disk management, D-I-S-K space M-A-N-A-G-E-M-E-N-T and click on create and format hard disk partitions. Now you're going to right click on the C drive and select shrink volume. Querying volume for available shrink space. Please wait. Alright, so this window should open. It says shrink C, and it shows the total size before shrink in megabytes, the size of available shrink space in megabytes, enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes, and the total size after shrink in megabytes. Now you're going to backspace the number in enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. And you're going to type in the amount of megabytes you need to install Linux. Now, it said 20 gigs was recommended. 20 gigs is 20,000 megabytes. So I'm going to type in 20,000. 20000. Now click on shrink. Once that's done, you should see a new section over here, and it says unallocated. Now you're going to right click on the unallocated section and go to new simple volume. Click Next, Next, assign the following drive letter. Now you can leave it as is, or you can change the drive letter. I'm just going to leave it at E. Now click Next, Next, and Finish. Formatting, 
it should say new volume, drive letter E, and it should say healthy primary partition. Once that's finished, you're going to create a partition for swap space. So you're going to go to the C drive again, right click on it, and select shrink volume. Once again, you're going to backspace the number and enter the amount of space to shrink in megabytes. Now you want to make this partition the same size as your RAM in your computer. My computer has 8 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to type in 8,000 megabytes. 8,000. Zero, zero. Now click shrink. Alright, now it should say unallocated. You can just leave it as is and close out of disk management. Now all you have left to do is install Linux onto your computer. So you're going to restart your computer. As soon as your computer starts, you're going to press F2 or whatever button it is to get into your computer's BIOS. Once you get into the BIOS, you're going to scroll over to boot, so press the right arrow on your keyboard. Now you want to make sure that it's set to the CD, DVD, or Blu-ray drive, which on this is called the ODD. Mine's already set to that. Now press F10 and press enter. Now wait for the installation disk to load. It might take a while. You don't have to press any buttons and it will load. Alright, so it should say Computer, Home, and Install Linux Mint. You're going to double click on Install Linux Mint. Select your language. My language is English, so I'm just going to leave it at that and click Continue. Click Continue again. Click Continue again. Now you can choose Install Linux Mint alongside Windows 7, Erase Disk and Install Linux Mint, or something else. Make sure that you select something else. Now click Continue. Now you're going to create the swap partition, so you're going to click on the one that's approximately 8 gigs of space, or the equivalent of your computer's RAM. Now double click on the checkbox for format. Now you're going to change use as to swap area and click OK. Once you have that done, you're going to select the main partition for Linux, which should be approximately 20 gigs or 20,000 megabytes. Once again, double click on the format checkbox and change use as to ext4. Journaling File System. Check off Format the Partition, and then change the mount point to Slash. Now click OK. Once that's done, select the Linux partition, the one that you set to ext4. Now you're going to change Device for Bootloader Installation to DEB SDA2, and click Install Now. Write the changes to disks. If you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disks. Otherwise, you will be able to make further changes manually. Warning, this will destroy all data on any partitions you have removed, as well as on the partitions that are going to be formatted. The partition tables of the following devices are changed. SCSI1000 SDA The following partitions are going to be formatted. Partition number 5 of SCSI1000 SDA is swap, and partition number 2 of SCSI1000 SDA is ext4. Click continue. Select your country, so I'm going to backspace New York and put Canada. Click continue. Select the keyboard layout. I'm going to leave it as English US and click continue. Now you're going to type your name, your computer's name, a username, and a password. Now click continue. Welcome and thank you for choosing Linux Mint. This slideshow will show you around while the system is being installed on your computer. Installing system. 
Installation has finished. You can continue testing Linux Mint now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. Now click on Restart Now. If your computer loads into Windows 7, you're going to restart. Once you restart your computer, close the CD DVD drive again. Wait for the Linux disk to load, it might take a while. Now you're going to double click on Home. Now you're going to mount both Linux and Windows. So you're going to click on each one under Devices. 21 gigs is for Linux, so you're going to mount that. And now mount Windows by clicking on it. Alright, now you're going to hover over the Linux volume, which is the first one here and you want to write down the directory. So that's slash media slash mint slash cb9b9666-1ac-4736 dash one ac dash four seven three six dash eight seven ae dash nine six nine five three c one seven one eight six c and it is dev sda two. Now you're going to open terminal type mount and press enter now you want to look for dev sda2 and check the directory which is slash media slash mint slash cb9b9666 dash 1acc dash 4736 dash 87ae dash 96953c17186c Now you're going to type s u d o space grub g r u b dash install i n s t a l l space dash dash root r o o t dash directory d i r e c t o r y equals slash media m e d i a slash mint m i n t slash c b nine b nine six 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 dash one a c c dash four seven three six dash eight seven a E dash nine six nine five three C one seven one eight six C space slash D E V slash S D A. Now press enter. Now close the terminal and close this. Now you're going to restart your computer. Once your DVD or Blu ray drive opens, you're going to press enter. And now it should ask you if you want to boot from Linux or Windows 7. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.